Oh hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech. This computer looks like it's something that came from the upside down, and it probably did. That's because I'm using a random computer in the middle of nowhere. I might even be in the upside down myself. I feel secure because I have my Ubico key here, I have my U2F key, and that stands for Universal Second Factor. Now I'm not going to make this video super super technical, but the whole point is you need to protect yourself these days from random computers, random logins, and the Ubico key is something that can help you do that. True story guys, I want to tell you why I actually picked up the Ubico key. My Gmail account was hacked, and I'm going to tell you how it was hacked. I actually used a friend's computer, and I guess they really don't know how to maintain their computer. It's something that we hear a lot these days. There must have been something that he downloaded or a site that he visited that inserted a keylogger onto his computer. What a keylogger does basically logs all your keystrokes so it has access to everything you visited. If you went to your bank account, if you went to eBay and then typed in your username and password, that information gets sent to a hacker somewhere, somewhere around the world, either domestically or internationally. So long story short, after using a friend's computer, my accounts got hacked, even my eBay, my Airbnb, everywhere that I went that day got hacked. Thankfully, my bank did notify me that there was some fraudulent activity going on and asked me if I wanted to continue with the wire transfer. Obviously, I said no, that was not my transfer. But the whole point is this hacker was really smart, got into my Gmail account as well, got access to all my orders, got access to all my photos got access to everything about me, and that made me really scared. That made me enable two-factor authentication. Now, the Ubico key is an actual physical key, and it's really, really tiny, as you can tell here. There are other ways to do it. You can enable a text message, or you can enable an email as a second factor authentication. But the problem with those is, if your Gmail account is hacked already, those emails will be sent to trash, and that's what happened to me in my story. So that's how I never really knew that my account was compromised until the bank called me. I have no idea what this person did. And then also with text messages, if you are traveling or maybe you're somewhere in the woods and you just don't get signal, those text messages, that second factor alert is not going to get to your phone. And that's why you really need a key. I no longer worried about logging into random computers anymore because I am protected. And what's really cool about the Ubico key is that the information is not actually stored on the device itself. So if you lose this or it gets stolen, someone cannot just insert it into a computer and extract all your passwords. It's site specific. So for example, Gmail will store the information for you just about this one key on their server. Dropbox will also do the same. So no site actually knows what other passwords you have. And I think that's really ingenious. That's really security right there. This will not work every single place that you go online, but if you do have a password manager like LastPass and you have their premium account, this will actually protect all of your accounts via that password manager. So if you're interested in LastPass, check my link down below. But this will also work with Facebook, it'll work with Twitter, it'll work with a bunch of other sites. For a list of all the sites, check my description as well. But for me, the main thing that I wanted to protect was my Gmail account because I'm sure like 90% of us out there, Google knows an awful lot about us. Everything is stored in my Gmail from what I order to where I want to go. It also gives them access to say credit card information because if they know what credit card you have and the login info, they can have those emails, that second factor authentication sent to your Gmail account and they can get into it. If you have no idea about it, that's how your credit cards could get compromised. But with the key, no one can log into your Gmail account without actually inserting this into your computer, into your tablet, into your phone, wherever it is. And also what I like about it, this is a USB edition. They have other editions as well. There's an NFC, there's a Bluetooth edition, there's a whole bunch. Check my link down below. But if you pick up one of these little adapters that I got on Amazon for about five bucks, it'll turn this USB-C key into a regular USB. So this way, no matter where you are, you can plug this in and feel safe and secure. So let's just go over how you can set it up. Go into your Gmail settings, go into your account settings, go into security, and then go into set up second factor. You'll see you have an option there for your key. Click on that, insert your key to your computer, press on the two little tabs on the side of the key itself, and that'll register to your Google account. Same goes for Facebook. If you go into your settings, go to security. From there, you'll have to enable 
the second factor with the key. Just put in a phone number. That's what they require just as a backup. And then you can register the key as well. Same goes for Twitter. It's basically the same process. And the same goes for LastPass as well. If you have LastPass, again, you will need that premium service. But really, I like the Yubico key because it's really small, it's really secure. And if you're using random computers, that could be a relative or just a friend. Not everybody knows how to maintain their computer. Not everybody actually keeps up with maintenance on their computer. So it really is important if you are using other computers. You can't always use your phone whether you don't have service or whether you actually need a desktop to get some work done. The Yubico key will protect you and keep you safe and secure. And I really hope that a lot of you pick up this key or at least enable second factor authentication via text message. That's the one gateway. Once you do that, you're really going to want a key in your pocket as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.